Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Dre and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit the little subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified each and every time that I post something new. And if it resonates, give me a thumbs up. I did a light ding because last time I was like, damn, that shit was loud as fuck. <laughs> so, you know, I just, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I want to say thank you to anyone who has donated, anyone who likes, who subscribes and shares. It is all appreciated. Thank you to anyone who has booked a reading. And if you wish to book a reading, my email is in the description box. That is how you can, you know, get in contact with me. I will not message you for a reading, so please beware of scammers. If you are interested in the Tridivia deck, that is also linked at a discounted price in the description box. And yeah, you can check out all my other social medias too as well. Okay. Oh yeah, I go live on TikTok and I do mini readings for cheaper prices. So check that out if you feel called to. But um yeah, let's 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 talk about this. We're seeing how do women view you, okay? It doesn't matter if you're male or female, they them, okay? This will, you know, obviously it's gonna like I'm gonna incorporate everything, so you know, but you know me, I'll be smooth with it, okay? So trust the process and have faith, alright? And um we have three piles today. Pile number one, which is the moon and stars tarot. Pile number two, which is the wild unknown. Yeah, the wild unknown tarot. Why do I always forget that one? And pile number three, which is the under the sea tarot, okay? As always, you can pick more than one pile if you feel called to. Thank you, thank you, thank you for kitchen a vibe. I love you. And I'll see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. Oh, that was loud. Okay, I told myself I wasn't gonna do that. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Drea, and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you are new here, hit that little subscribey, okay? If you didn't already, and the bell so you get notified every time I'm posting something new, baby. And if it resonates, you know, give me a thumbs up or I'm here for the tea. And uh, comment, you know, because I like the confirmations. They really be adding up, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have been giving to me. We're going to catch a vibe out. As always, we're going to get your current energy. Then we'll tap into your oracles and close you out with some tarot. Okay. All right. So what is pile number one's current energy? Right. The fudge now. Pile one's current energy. I heard I came in like a wrecking ball. That's a lot. How much money you got? A lot. All right. I don't understand where all these songs are coming, but we have three major arcana out of six already. But the strength, which is power. On the bottom of the deck, we have Leo energy. We have sacrifice, which is Pisces energy, the hanged man. We have Libra, which is balance. Then we have the waiting game, the two of wands. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Girl, boy, child, <laughs> they. <laughs> okay, let's talk about this. First things first, you have been sacrificing a lot, going towards something, patiently working towards something, patiently waiting for something. This represents patience, and then we have the waiting game, okay? You've been planning, you've been trying to, you know, stay honest with yourself, hold yourself accountable. And you know, with this, I know this is the justice, but with this, it has the tools, all of the, the major arcana, I mean the major arcana, all of the suits, just like the magician so because you've been staying in this balanced energy okay focusing on yourself and you know your loved ones of course and and focusing on building us a, a foundation that is helping you to grow more abundance okay you've been transforming you've been making the changes and you know you've been staying disciplined and your efforts have been co compounding and now you're about to reap the rewards okay some idea is going to come to you as well that is going to give you more power in this. Some idea is going to help you to make this easier, this transition easier, because you are stepping out of this, you know, stuck energy into moving forward, okay? Look at the seven of freaking cups coming through and the six of, the six of, I was about to say six of swords. Some of you guys could be traveling soon and you've definitely been focusing on healing. Even if you haven't been consciously focusing on healing, you have been healing subconsciously, okay? Maybe you randomly crying or thinking of 
of things and it's like when you're thinking of certain things that used to piss you off it's not giving you that same reaction you're not feeling that emotion anymore that is a part of the healing process because that's you letting go that's you releasing so <laughs> now you know but anyway guys <laughs> You have to you have a lot of options coming to you so again integrate into this as slowly as possible no matter what you choose though you will be successful we did have the six of sword uh six of wands and you know abundance is coming in and this has triumphed in success so okay, need i say more this waiting game is finally coming to an end okay your patience is allowing you to finally step forward, you focusing on balance, you trusting in the divine, you trusting in God. Your angels have a heavy hand in this too with this angel wings, okay? Continue to be courageous, continue to trust your intuition, but also focus on staying grounded, okay? And applying the wisdom that you have learned from your failures, okay? Just because you may have failed at certain things, you can use that, you know? A lot of people are like, oh, I did this and I messed up. No, you can use, instead of complaining about it, use it to not make the same mistakes in the future. But yeah, you guys, all your sacrifices are going to show you why they had to happen. Like, there's a reason and there's a rhyme for this. And like, there's big emphasis on staying grounded though, guys. We have like this hand coming out of this dirt, she's in the dirt, and um, there was something else. Oh, we have this tree, nature, ground, yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so if that resonates at all, congratulations, because you're about to see the rewards for your work. And let's get into how do women view you right now? Okay, how what? How do women view you? Women view you as somebody who is very compassionate and empathetic because you've been through a lot, okay? You have been through maybe a lot of dysfunction since you were a child, if they've known you for a long time. And, you know, maybe they've seen who you've dated in the past and stuff like that. Let's just say, okay, because there's going to be multiple, because we're, we're talking on both, all spectrums, okay? Regardless, at the end of the day, women feel that you have transformed and become amazing regardless of the background that you came from, okay? Women also do trust you in regards to being around their children. They see how you interact with children. They see that children love you. They see that children trust you and they feel that they can trust you around their children as well, okay? Women view you as somebody who always has a fresh perspective on life. You're always focusing on building a firm foundation. And you know, women view you as somebody who's very lucky, Okay, I mean, view you as somebody who is very supportive, open to listening, open to changes, open to forgiving. They find you as somebody who is, <sighs> all right, either regardless at the end of the day, they would love to be a friend with you, okay? They would love to be a friend with you. We have companion here too, so regardless, like, of if wherever your dating pool is like women find you attractive and they would like to date you either way if yeah regardless they find you attractive some women envy you if you're a woman and stuff like that they envy your beauty and for my males they envy the fact that maybe you might have other women or other people who have your attention because I do feel like you know you guys are very much surrounded by a lot of people and there's people that you know you're not looking at you're over here focused on your own thing and then you have these other people they're watching you like oh my god they're not even looking at me they're not even giving any attention they're not even paying attention to me they don't even notice me <laughs> and that's the energy like that's why they get a little envious you know what i'm saying they're like okay but everybody looks at me but this person part one is just not looking at me you're not giving me any attention like what is different about them why and it kind of like gets them a little like you know like riled up like what do I need to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, they do feel like that you're a loyal or you would be a loyal friend. But for some of you, if it's in regards to dating, women would feel like, you know, maybe you have the potential to betray them. Okay. Because of the fact that, you know, you do get a lot of attention and a lot of energy. And some of you guys could be extremely handsome or extremely beautiful. And, you know, people are like assuming that you're a player. Women assume that you're a player, okay? Women do feel that you are very honest though, so it's like contradictory because they think they're, I think they're battling with their ego, okay? Because deep down you are this beautiful, amazing person who is not what you look like, okay? 
and they're reading into your looks a little bit too much for some of them, which gets them in this envious energy. But then we also have this telekinesis energy, which is in regards to influence, willpower, control, and obstacles. People feel, like women feel like there's obstacles in regards to getting to connect with you or getting to know you, okay? They feel like it's hard to get to know you. You might be very much standoffish, very much closed off to a certain extent. You know, again, you don't give energy to everybody because you are this phoenix, because you have been through a lot of stuff throughout your entire life. Women do do feel that you've been wounded in multiple ways and maybe you've come from a dysfunctional childhood, dysfunctional family, maybe you've had toxic relationships, toxic friendships, maybe you've been betrayed, betrayed, betrayed. <laughs> yeah. But people view you as somebody who has your own challenges, you know, like, yes, you might be attractive and stuff like that, but you have your, you, it's, you've been through a lot and, um, you know, looks didn't save you, you know, regardless. And maybe you didn't look the way you look your whole life. So regardless, I do feel like there's big emphasis on your looks. I'm not understanding, like, I guess you're, you're, you're attractive. Yes. But it's like, these women are very like puzzled because like your energy doesn't match your looks. Okay. So I don't know. There's something about that, but they do see that you're a creative. Okay. I don't know what it is about you. Maybe they see you doing art. Maybe they see you posting things in regards to art. Maybe you, you create things and they see this. Uh, maybe you, you, you dress like you're ar an artist. You dress alternatively. There's some kind of vibe in regards to that as well. We do have, um, with this influence and willpower, women view you as somebody who is very influential you could have a large social media following and maybe that could be where this envy comes in too because maybe you got your social media following following not only because of your looks but because of your personality because a lot of people desire a friendship with you they feel like you have this kind of bubbly amazing energy but you don't give it to everybody you know what i'm saying so that's where they're like this challenge and obstacles comes in because they're trying to control the situation, trying to get you to open up your arms to either a friendship so that either they can become a companion or just to stay in this friendship, okay? But a lot of women, um, if they're trying to date you, they want to become your friend so that they can move forward and become a companion, okay? But either way, if they're not trying to date you, they just would like to be your friend because they feel like you would be the type of supportive person who, you know, helps people to be motivated and you remind people to go after their dreams you support people you're kind caring compassionate you're you're protective you're expansive you're all about growth you're very intelligent you're very honest and you're very truthful you speak with wisdom and yeah you have a heavy influ influence okay anything else yeah yeah y'all are y'all are <laughs> oh people a women view as somebody who can dress too they either like your style, so they'll ask you, like, where did you get that? Or they'll be, like, looking at you and they'll be like, oh, I like his style or I like their style or whatever. You know, they like the way you dress. It's either they want to dress like you or they just like and admire the way you dress. Let's see. Anything else? Some women view you as controlling or always very aware and not to say that you're controlling in like a, a barbaric way, but it's like you could be controlling in regards to you, you're, you have leadership qualities, you take control, you, you, you level out the situation. If people are panicking and stuff like that, you come through because you've been through hell already. So you, you can handle high pressure situations like nothing. And women do view you as somebody who has been on an amazing, crazy and wild journey. And, you know, people, they feel like they could learn a lot from you in that. I don't know. There's just like a, a draw, like you draw them in, in some way, shape or form, but let's get into your tarot pile one. <laughs> Women view you as somebody who has a clear and set vision on what you want out of life, what you want out of friendship, what you want out of your career, what you want to, where you want to live, what type of relationship, not my stomach going off, what type of relationship you would like. You have clear and, um, 
yeah, you just have clear goals, okay? People know what it is. You let it be known. We do have communication, but let's talk about We have the Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh, no. The Ace of Wands, New Beginnings, clarified by the Knight of Swords with drama. Ten of Cups with completion. Six of Pentacles with kindness. The Nine of Pentacles with comfort. We have Four of Swords with recuperation. We have the Three of Wands with communication. We have the Sun, positivity. Five of Wands, chaos. And then the Ten of Pentacles, wealth. Bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles vision which is like you're very much long game you do things with longevity in mind you know you make sacrifices now so that you can become better later you're very much disciplined because you understand you do things you don't want to do because you want to do it for your future self you know what the the result the outcome will be and i was talking about that in your current energy so that kind of adds up but with this new beginnings it's like you're living from a fresh new life okay you are avoiding drama you're not here for drama if somebody brings you drama you will literally it's like you have a drama detector like you can sniff out drama it, people can tell women, women can tell that immediately that you're turned off by drama no matter what who you are i don't care they can tell that you're turned off by drama because your face literally shows it like once people start acting up let's say somebody's belligerent and they're junk uh junk they're drunk <laughs> oh wow some some of y'all have junk in the trunk and women do view that okay either they they want it or they're like damn you know what i'm saying <laughs> regardless they're, they're, they're looking at your cheeks pal one i don't know that there's always a one pile that would <laughs> let me stop it's because i'm i'm them i'd be looking <laughs> But anyway, if you got a nice body, I'm going to look. I'm sorry. Okay. And then I'm going to look away in shyness. Okay. <laughs> I digress. At the end of the day, yeah, people are seeing that you have this fresh perspective on life and you're done with petty drama. You don't care for the chaos because we literally have five of wands with this ten of pentacles. It's like you're trying to build a legacy. You're trying to stay positive. You're trying to rest, heal. You're trying to live a life of comfort, happiness, and joy. And you're just trying to be kind, okay? If people aren't being kind to you and trying to bring drama and chaos, you're literally just going to turn your back and walk away and go towards people who actually match your energy. There's a lot of yellow in this too. And with this sun, people definitely see that you're very very confident women view you as somebody who's very confident but also it's like you you're this silence silent confidence okay you're not the person who's the loudest in the room but your energy is the loudest and you get the most attention and again women might envy that because of you getting a lot of attention especially if you are a woman yourself but either way you know and it, like they still might get a little envious because they don't get that same energy not the whole spectrum but some women who are viewing you okay but we do have completion and kindness women view as somebody who you know you would bring emotional fulfillment and emotional happiness to them you are very kind and they feel safe and they feel like you would reciprocate their energy regardless of if you were dating them or if you were a friend they feel like you would be somebody who they can count on again this very supportive energy this very like emotionally fulfilling unconditional love vibes with this nine of pentacles comfort and this four of swords you could be a homebody view uh you are being viewed as a homebody by women you know they feel like you're not really trying to be out too much unless you're going in nature or spending time with loved ones and stuff like that or going for the bag because we have a lot of pentacles here as well so you guys are very much money focused and women view as somebody as such you also may be maybe very luxurious or you live a very comfortable life okay and i'm not saying you all have to but I do feel like a lot of you guys either have a lot of things that provide convenience, okay? Like, you may have, like, a, a um, instead of, like, going to buy coffee or, you know, just making coffee, instant coffee, you have, like, a Keurig or, like, a cappuccino machine or latte machine or something like that. You know what I'm saying? You might have a blender and you make smoothies every morning. Um, there's big emphasis on health, too. You could be very health-oriented and, you know, you, you kind of, like, you get women reassessing as well because one you have this emotional happiness we have the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles the nine of pentacles this is a lot of good good energies with this three of wands too women view as somebody who is not afraid to travel 
traveling makes you happy they view you maybe they watch you on social media or they see you out and about and they're like wow this person or they know you or they could be a friend or whatever they they view you as somebody who loves to travel who loves to learn who loves to explore who has amazing communication and a lot of positive self-talk you might be the kind of friend or person who may like talk to them you give a girl a compliment a woman a comp compliment and they're like no and you're like hey stop that you know you're the type of person who reminds people of their worth and reminds people like no like you are beautiful and you know regardless of who told you not okay you know take another look in the mirror you're you're just really really like i can't like you're a pure soul pa one you're pure pure soul and that is why women envy you and love you at the same time and they could be a little intimidated by you because of the fact that you know you really aren't on the same vibe as some of the women because maybe some of them are into kind of trivial things and you're kind of more expansive and kind of focused on building generational wealth focused on building up comfort focused on you know manifesting connections that are reciprocal and, and make you happy and that's how women view you so they're a little intimidated but also you give off because I, I can't knock this ace of wands it is here and i was talking about your junk in the trunk women find you very sexually attractive or they might feel for my males they feel like you packing and regardless um they feel like you're good in bed they feel like you probably get it in, get it on. Some of them feel like you're single, ready to mingle, but also you could be a homebody, like I said already. But yeah, they feel like you're very comfy, like you might wear a robe a lot and stuff like that, or like, you know, slippers. <laughs> you may have your bonnet on or whatever it is, or you just be chilling at home. Anything else? Yeah, but there's a lot of passion. People feel like you're you would you're definitely passionate you might have like a lot of charisma or you could be very flirtatious whether it doesn't matter like women do feel like you could be flirtatious as well and they feel like yeah we have the king of pentacles bro are you kidding me page of pentacles prospects they feel like you have a lot of prospects and you know you kind of are are standoffish because you've been stabbed in the back i saw the ten of swords so you might jump to conclusions. You might be like, you know, you I, I don't you have trust issues. Women view you as somebody who may have trust issues, whether it's in regards to friends or relationships or romantic vibes. Okay? But that's what I got for you, pile number one. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What's up, pile number two? Excuse me, I almost said pile number one. If you're new here, hit that little subscribe button down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post something new. And if this resonates, give me a thumbs up, baby. And if you would like to book a reading, my email is in the description box. I will not message you, Jesus, for a reading, okay? So beware of these scammies. Scammy, scam, scams. Some of y'all could have came from pile one. If you did, hi, how are ya? As always, we're going to get your current energy, then we will tap into your oracles and close you out with a tarot spread. Okay, Pal 2, Pal 2, Pal 2, Pal 2. What's Pal 2's current energy? Oh, damn. And I saw the tower earlier from the tarot, the other tarot. Very interesting. We have the Six of Pentacles material and spiritual prosperity it seems you have balanced your connection to the spiritual realm and the physical realm not only are you staying grounded and secure but you are also connected to your spirituality you know and with this throat chakra you are getting honest with yourself in regards to what needs to change and in regards to you know reciprocated energy in regards to what do you invest your energy into in regards to what mountains you want to climb okay what you want to build in regards to foundations look at <laughs> we have firm foundation and then foundation and achievements the four of wands four 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 you could be seeing as well we have patience and five 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 and i just dropped a card you come here my friend don't play games patience yeah similar energy again to pile one because this patient energy and disruption your patience is about to reveal shocking shocking new revelations in regards to progress okay 
this is you're going to be celebrating four of wands celebration some of y'all maybe even manifesting a relationship for some of you that you've been patiently waiting for okay if you're in a relationship already this is in regards to your goals and stuff like that or whatever it is that you're investing in you're trying to improve your health you're trying to get more connected to god's source you're trying to you know move and save up and stuff like that you're trying to learn something new because with this movement choices and decisions it's like you're going to have something come out of nowhere very quickly and you're going to want to be guarded because he has his heart guarded because it's going to be a lot of movement that you would need to be doing and the decisions are going to be kind of hard because all the options are looking really good you know we got money we got relationships and we have this plant which is in regards to growth and then we have these clouds too so it's like all of these different options what are you going to choose what are you going to invest into you know and that's why things are going to get a little tricky but you are balanced already trust your intuition and you know don't fear movement just because it's happening very quickly doesn't mean that you're going to make the wrong move you're prepared for this you are ready okay i know you've been through certain things and that's why your heart is closed off but you are strong enough okay yeah it's definitely some of y'all are manifesting a relationship and that also could be another reason why you're, you're guarded because you still either haven't healed from your ex or somebody from your past or you just may have trust issues because of past relationships or trauma because of past relationships and um you know maybe you've been in relationships where you gave more or you like the person more and stuff like that but there is an, a relationship in regard okay this is another message somebody may want to come in and communicate to you because they see that you are really doing the damn thing they see that you are growing something they find you to be this attractive amazing person and you know they do feel like you are goals in regards to somebody that they can build a foundation with somebody who is patient not controlling somebody who is still exciting and somebody who you know is kind of different than their usual type <laughs> so that's for some of you that's random as hell but yeah you definitely could be seeing 555 777 and 666 and 444 like we said maybe even 222 because it's two but anything else yeah you're about to start reaping the rewards you're about to start seeing something sprout into this beautiful flower that you've been investing in and you know it's been a while it's been a long time coming but you know because you never gave up on yourself because you kept going because you figured out how to balance you know investing in yourself investing in your health investing in your friendships investing in family investing in you know your job investing in your endeavors which is very hard so give yourself a pat on the back I'm gonna give you a round of applause because of the fact that people really do sleep on like how much you get done you know you guys get a lot done so stop sleeping on yourself but yeah if that resonates at all let's get into how do women view you all right how to women view you as somebody who you really inspire them to take action you i don't know what you're building or what you're focused on or what your goals are but women see that you are a go-getter type okay we have b you know busy b here okay and i feel like you know you i mean view you who has explored a lot in regards to everything in your life whether career wise whether travel wise whether cultural whether you know relationship wise they see that you have an expansive and expanded palette in regards to all aspects of life okay maybe some of you guys have been around and some of you guys don't drink and women view as somebody who doesn't drink and they're kind of surprised by that that's random i know but yeah some of y'all don't drink and they thought that you would be but you have freed yourself from a lot okay you have released a lot and maybe some of you guys were negative back in the day now you're a little bit more zen and peaceful and connected okay we have mantra medicine which is command song incantation containment so women view as somebody who likes music a lot women view as somebody who ooh, we have healing too here but we'll get to that let me let me uh, squirrel <laughs> let me calm down but yeah women view as somebody who may even create music may may sing and maybe even you know 
women view you as somebody who has a nice voice we have motivation here too yeah like you inspire people the way you approach life we have action twice you are always going to take action you're standing on business and that's how women view you and you really liberate themselves from their doubts okay they may have beliefs that are outdated or you know your your beliefs are very like you're ahead of your time pile too you're ahead of your time and that's how women view you they're like yo this person's leveled up this person is busy but this person is also about peace this person is about balance this person like knows life they feel like you figured out life pal too and they also feel like you're very honest you're very truthful you could also be very intuitive a lot of women view you as somebody who finishes their sentences or you might like read their mind and stuff like that maybe you may have telekinesis and maybe you do like be reading their minds or, or you say things at the same time as them or all of a sudden you finish their sentence and stuff like that but yeah people view you women view you as somebody who you're not going to be held down you enjoy freedom it's giving sagittarius energy um but also there's other you know <laughs> but it, sag is like is one of the means you know what i'm saying They're like nabby no we're not doing this uh but anyway i digress yeah pe women view you as somebody who's very busy okay you get a lot of things done you also are an amazing thinker your beliefs and your mindset inspire women okay the way that you fight for people's rights the way that you defend people the way that you are like a local hero you 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 you're very like you're an amazing person okay pal two you have this beautiful healing energy you heal others women view as somebody that when they spend time with you they feel like they are healed they feel happier they feel like a weight has been lifted off their shoulder they feel like they have a new outlook on life they feel like they can actually get the things done because i feel like when you talk to women regardless of what you say it's it's something that's going to inspire them it's something that's going to reprogram their mindset it's something that's going to get them motivated and you know it's something that's going to make them want to plant the seed get over here and and grow something because they see you growing something and they see that you know you're not telling people things to like get something from them you're telling people things because you want the best for them you know you're you guys give off human hum, humanitarian vibes so we got aquarius energy also so a lot of you guys are very unique and you kind of go to the beat of your own drum and women see that and some of these women are like okay well how can i start living like that like this person pal two does not give a damn this pal two does whatever they want pal two is living a nice busy abundant life pal two is healing pal two is always taking action pal two is compassionate pal two is honest pal two doesn't care what other people think think or say about them you're content you know pal two is always at peace pal two is fighting for people's rights pal two is fighting for you know the the underdog the downtrodden robin hood vibes hello <laughs> someone's name could be robin but anyway we have um honesty i can't always expect the truth from others but i can expect it from myself pal two you could be my human lie detectors as well i do feel like women feel like you can see right through them or you can tell when people are lying and uh they've noticed that or maybe you told them like yeah this person's lying this person's bullshitting you or whatever depending on the conversation that you're having with women because obviously these are multiple women that are popping up in this energy okay yeah, you're like a breath of fresh air, pal, to, to women. People really get excited. You kind of bring out women's inner child and you help them connect to their intuition and you allow them to kind of get in their, their soft feminine energy and you allow them to just kind of like relax, okay? You could be protective or you could be the type of person who like, you know, walks on the left side of the sidewalk while, you know, they walk on the inner and or like you know you're the person who is like watching the scene or defending them or you know what i'm saying like you could be that person even at like say you're at a party or the club someone's walking up to this woman 
that you're with, whether friend, whoever the hell, and uh, you're the type of person to like maybe protect them or you would pretend to be their boyfriend or girlfriend so that they wouldn't talk to them or you would just tell them to F off or whatever it is. Because with this honesty, something I could be really blunt. Um, yeah, because with this liberator, it's like you're not afraid to speak your mind and sometimes it might come off as rash or rude, but you're just, you're like... I it's not that you're rude. It's just the way you come off. Maybe you don't really understand that some people may not look at it as like you just being honest. They could look at it as like, you know, whoa, this person's bugging. <laughs> you could be on the spectrum for some of you, not all of you. Yeah. Anything else? All right. Let's get into your tarot. <laughs> Pile two. <laughs> Women become obsessed with you. They view you as somebody who they obsessively like either idolize or find very attractive. Okay. You either way you're attractive. Like <clears throat> they idolize your beauty or your, your, your handsomeness. Okay. We have the king of, okay, let's start from the top. We have the devil clarified by the sun. We have the son of pentacles clarified by the eight of pentacles. We have the father of wands, which is the king of pentacles clarified by the, no, that's the king of wands. Apologies. And then we have the mother of pentacles, which is the queen of wands, queen of pentacles, Jesus. Women view you as somebody who has the potential to be their counterpart as well. Like you're an equal match. We have the Empress and the Moon. We have the Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's start. Like you are a fiery, fiery person. Like this goat's feet are on fire. <laughs> and then, you know, we have the sun, which is a fireball. So let's just say you are a fiery, fiery mother effer. And with this cobra energy, like you can spit your ven venom, okay? Spit your game, talk your shit, grab your gat, call your click, like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, we have a lightning bolt, like right behind there. So it's like you do shocking things. Women find that you do shocking things and you give no Fs. Like I said, I feel like I said this with you guys already. We have the six of wands then we have the death card you're always transforming with this butterfly you're always transforming in the death card it's all it's all about transformation oh it's all about confidence baby yeah you're confident solar plexus energy okay you could be very flirtatious for some of you but not all of you again charisma confidence you got that sass. You could be the sassy, you know, a sassy. <laughs> if you know, you know. But yeah, women view you as somebody who you, the way you communicate with them, you either get them very happy, very excited, very motivated, or you get them thinking se actual thoughts, okay? Some women think of like what it would be like to be with you. And uh, yeah, that, I'll leave it there. But with the Son of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles, women view you as somebody who it's easy to like get stuck in your web. Like it's easy to become obsessed with your energy. It's easy to, you know, kind of like maybe like a lot, maybe a lot of women like stalk your story and stuff like that, or are constantly like wanting to know what's going on in your life, whether they're asking you or they're asking others. That's random, but women view you as somebody who they're very interested in and they kind of want to understand you and kind of want to learn about your life and learn about who you are. They're very nosy. Women view you as somebody who, I don't know, the way you live, it's like you could, you give off reality TV vibes and you know, some women love reality TV and they're like, I would watch Pal 2, I would like to watch Pal 2 because their life is like a movie. They might as well be on a TV, have their own TV show. Like women view as somebody who deserves their own TV show. That's hilarious. But yeah, women view as somebody who is uh, either a leader, a boss, or on their way to becoming an entrepreneur. You would either be a good mother or father. Women view as somebody as who is like very family oriented if you do have children w women view as somebody who like they would like to have children with if they you know want that they feel like you would be a good father the protector or if you already have kids and stuff like that they feel like you're a good mother or father but women view as somebody who is like very mysterious you're very mysterious but you're also very intuitive and you are very much this caring person you may even nurture women 
as well, which is why they feel safe and they feel comfortable. They feel non-judged by you and they feel like they can be their happy, quirky selves around you. You know what I'm saying? But again, they, they do feel as though like you, you do have like this feisty, fiery, not to be played with, like I will cut you kind of vibes. <laughs> Okay, but you again, you have this healing energy with the Six of Swords and you also could enjoy traveling or women view as somebody that they would travel for or enjoy traveling with. With this Wheel of Fortune, they also view you as somebody like no matter what kind of toxicity comes into your life, you stay happy and you know, everything ends up working out for you. Fear is non-existent in your life. You still have fear, but you are courageous because let's be real. Courage is not the absence of fear is the ability to move past it but yeah some of you guys women like to view you on social media and you know they follow you on social media because you're charismatic because you're attractive some of you guys do makeup and they like to watch your videos big emphasis on you may have a social media presence and women love to watch you you could have a large women following regardless of who you are or what you know your your sexual yeah or you know what i'm saying whatever your gender is it doesn't matter you definitely could be somebody who has a lot of a large following and you're very mysterious and that's probably why again because i was talking about like women want to like want to know more about you like let's say you're on social media but you don't talk about yourself again with this mysterious vibes you're doing something else and women want to know they're like intrigued they're like oh i'm a i want to know you know yeah we have the hermit they want to know more <laughs> oh my god that's so funny anything else mm-hmm yeah, but they really do view you as somebody who's intuitive. And sometimes that might shock them as well, especially if you're um, a male, which there are plenty of male intuitives out there. But like for some reason, some women still get shocked, you know, and maybe it's just like you don't look like you would be. Some of y'all could even be tarot readers and stuff like that. And, you know, for my males, you might not even look like you would be a tarot reader. All of a sudden you're you're online and you're doing tarot readings and they're like, what? <laughs> Or maybe you'd give them advice or you start reading them to filth just in general, giving them advice and stuff. And they're like, is this person psychic? Like, what the hell is this? But yeah, women view you as somebody who may sexualize a lot of things or you might have a dirty mind and you might make dirty jokes and stuff like that too. And uh, maybe you may have an addiction for some of you. And either way, you're still happy. I feel like you overcome an, overcame an addiction because we do have the death card. Anything else? All right, yeah, that's what I got for you, pal number two. I hope you have an amazing day and I don't whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What up, pal number three? Last but never last. It's the Agoyal Drea. And this is the House Intuition. I don't know. I don't know why I'm whispering. If you are new here, hit that little subscribe and the bell so you get notified each and every time that I post some new content and if this resonates give me a thumbs up baby I'm here for it okay let me know how or why in the comments <clears throat> if you would like to book a reading my email is in the description box as well and um I will not message you for a reading so beware of scammers we're gonna get your current energy as always and then we will tap into your oracles and close you out with some tarot so what's pile Three's current energy. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is deception and envy. Very interesting. I'm going to get a clarifier for that. And I also did get a clarifier for this Five of Pentacles, which was the sun. Then we have intuition. Yeah. Some of y'all, because I had the intuition in reverse. Some of y'all have not been trusting your intuition, okay? With this deception and envy, it's kind of like you're deceiving yourself right now. And you're coming out of that. You were deceiving yourself in some way, shape, or form. Okay? Whether it was like you were self-sabotaging yourself. Whether you were embracing imposter syndrome just a little bit too much. Whether you were like focusing on like 
the problems instead of the solutions. What's this deception and envy, please? Can we get a little clarification? Because I need complete. Yeah, you're understanding now that you have been lying to yourself. You've been lying to yourself. You've been holding complete this whole time, okay? We have the universe, which is the world, which is about success. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. This is the truth. This is the truth that you needed. And or ex you're accepting your truth and you're understanding, like, I am holding complete. I'm exactly who I am because I'm meant to do this. I'm meant to be of success. I'm meant to celebrate and rejoice over life. I'm meant to only focus on the memories of love from my past. I'm meant to be happy. I am meant to receive the wishes that I desire. I'm meant to come out of this lack or poverty mindset. And, you know, as I trust my intuition, I will step into new doors. And that's what's happening right now. You have completed a cycle of deception. You have completed a cycle of envying others because maybe you were going through a hard time or maybe people weren't, you know, going through what you were going through and they were as empathetic and supportive or you know there's big emphasis on like you were you were either either envious or getting a little resentful towards people or just like wanting to stay away from people so you can avoid being envious because of you going through a hard time you know but also it could be that you were surrounded by certain envious people and you closed out the cycle with those people because one they were making you feel lack and trying to take from your happiness too you know a lot of these people are people from your past and maybe they came back around and you can see that they only came back around because they're starting to see that you're heading towards success and you're starting to celebrate life more this could have been past friends and stuff like that or maybe this is coming in you do have some people who may be envious of this you coming out of this poverty into this success so trust your intuition use your discernment and keep that door closed if these people um maybe old friends or you know somebody who put you in a third party is coming back in because right now, the only thing that's going to be stopping your happiness is you. If you allow people to come through the door that you already shut, you'll be stopping your happiness. If you allow this poverty mindset to come back, if you allow this self-sabotage or, you know, you, you putting yourself on a lower pedestal than you really are or doubting your abilities, doubting that you're capable you will not be happy and you deserve happiness you are worthy of happiness and it is coming i know maybe some of y'all it's been a long time coming some of you guys can see it's trickling in and your intuition is giving you confirmations so be aware of a lot of synchronicities or serendipitous moments that could be going on around you you might get, be getting a little bit of extra luck here or there some of you guys if you are on social media, you could be making more money on social media too. With this universe, you could be getting success or manifesting new clients that are going to get you out of this financial and material changes, okay? Because this is the five of pentacles, but because it says financial, you know, it's like you're trusting your intuition and, and following your heart and taking action towards building something that is stable, making the changes that you need to stop lying to yourself like... Uh, like in regards to doing something a certain way, maybe you need to change it because it wasn't working for you in the past. Your intuition is telling you you need to change. Once you make those changes, you'll be so happy and you'll never like, you'll just be like, why didn't I do this sooner? You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> if that resonates at all, let's get into your oracles. Okay, women. Women. <laughs> How do women view you? That's what I... <laughs> okay women all right we got gossip we have cow we have child orphan we have pure intention we have happiness and florida water okay so <laughs> a lot of you guys like <laughs> women view as somebody who is very much talked about okay women maybe even view as somebody who people like to gossip about whether it's them or others they've engaged in gossip about you and you know you be over here looking like this cute little furry cow which i love furry cows they're like the best they're so adorable like yeah we got regular cows but like furry cows just something about a furry cow that is just like i want to like pinch its cheeks i want to just have it as a pet and you know you embrace all of you you accept all of you you are pure you are very much an enchanted 
beautiful ethereal being who is a lone wolf and maybe that's why there's a lot of gossip about you because you kind of be in your own world and you kind of you might even be hyper independent and view, women view you as somebody who may be hyper independent or who, somebody who just don't got time for gossip who don't got time for people in general okay but also some of you guys women view you as somebody who likes the gossip you like the tea for some of you okay that depends on which spectrum you're at you'll know exactly if you like to like you're like yo you'll never guess what mary said from accounting if you're that vibe then a hey. or you know you're you're down with the gossip you're down with the tea all right either way you get it but yeah <laughs> Women view you as somebody that, you know, they feel like they can trust in regards to telling people, uh, telling you their gossip too. If they want to talk about somebody else, they feel like they could vent to you because you're pure, because you wouldn't be malicious. They feel like you wouldn't try to betray them by passing that information, that seek the secrets on to somebody else and stuff like that. Uh. Women view you as somebody who is very good at manifesting, you kind of always get what you want and it's always in regards to your highest and best good and even the highest good of others. It's like you're not going to stomp on somebody to succeed. You're not going to throw somebody under the bus to succeed and you still continue to succeed and people are just wondering like, you know, how does this person succeed? Especially women. Women are wondering like this person is very gentle, like this cow energy. Yes, they have horns, but look at this cow. It's like so cute. And they feel like, you know, you're embracing who you are. You don't seek approval from anybody. And, you know, you don't do things to get success. You just do what it do and you do what makes you happy, boo. And you're on the right path. And women see that and they're just confused because they're like, okay, but what the hell is this person doing? How does this person get this done? How is this person able to accomplish this? How does this person continue to pass me? You know, some women may view you as competition, regardless of your, if you're male or female, they do feel like you're competition because one, you're happy. You don't care if people are gossiping about you. So women might like care about what people think. You don't give a damn about what people think. And you know, you, you just trying to like do what, <laughs> do what it do and do what makes you happy and focus on your men manifestations and you just have this pure pure heart okay with this florida water you're very much cleansed you're very clean women view you as somebody who takes care of themselves who smells good you may have a really nice perfume or cologne and women love that if they have if you have a perfume some women like would like to ask you like what your perfume is even if you have a cologne because maybe they want to get their man that or in the future or their current man or you know whatever it, it smells nice so they're interested and they want to know what it is okay uh your natural beauty as well there's something about you having natural beauty and that could cause women to gossip you know some women might say, oh, they don't wear makeup because they can't do makeup instead of just saying that like, oh, they look fine without makeup. Look at how they look in their natural state. They look naturally beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So you, some of y'all women view you as somebody who has haters, but also women view you as somebody that they have to hate on or they feel the need to hate on because of this pure like energy it's like you're not out here trying to befriend other women or you're not trying to impress other women you're just kind of in your again with this independence you're just kind of here doing your damn thing and a lot of women view you as somebody who would abandon them okay women view you as somebody who's nonchalant women view you as somebody who if like it came down to it and they were acting toxic and stuff like that because you're pure and focused on your happiness you would easily just walk away from them and stuff like that and women view you as somebody who you know could be very romantic all right especially like if they've seen you for my males like give it doesn't matter but if they've seen you give roses and stuff like that they view you as somebody who is very romantic or who they would like to date women view you as somebody who is a go with the flow kind of vibe you're very free flowing but also you're hilarious women view you as somebody who has an amazing laugh Women view you as somebody who has rosy cheeks for some of you. You might put your blush, you might wear a very bright blush, maybe like an orange or peach blush, maybe a very vibrant red blush. That's so random. Women view you as somebody who maybe always gets their hair done as well. 
you may be always constantly changing your hair if you do wigs or you might dye it or you always do new styles and stuff like that upkeep again i was talking about like you're very clean and and stuff like that like you present you're very presentable and women view you as somebody who's very presentable and you know you're always looking good it's like not a hair out of place when they see you and you don't gotta do a lot because then we were talking about natural beauty or like handsomeness or whatever you know you're naturally attractive and you know you don't got to do a lot it's very easy for you to get done up you know you look good you have a couple key things you keep it simple like you maybe like wear a, a one necklace and then like a bracelet you're not like with mad bracelets and stuff like me out here you know i'd be like <laughs> but you get it you know what i'm saying <clears throat> but yeah women view you as somebody who's very aware of what makes them happy and you will stay on that path you will not defer from it you will not allow others to throw you off your path throw you off your kilter even if that means standing by yourself and doing your own thing by yourself for a while until you find people who align with the same path as you but yeah women view someone who's very enchanting there's something about your eyes but yeah you might get a lot of side eyes or maybe when you're walking through a crowd a lot of people talk about you or look at you and stuff like that <clears throat> i heard some of you guys are tall and women view you as somebody who's very tall and they like your your height even if you're male or female, regardless, they do feel like they like your height, regardless of how tall you are. But let's get into your tarot. Pal three. Okay, let's 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 start from the top again. I was talking about you being a master manifester, and the thing is, is like things come to you quickly, and you know, peep. <laughs> women put you on a pedestal. No matter who you are, women put you on a pedestal. Women get kind of sad and melancholy when they view your social media. If you're in a relationship, a happy relationship, they like, you know, they're happy for you. For some, like, you know, but also on the other spectrum, if they are attracted to you, <laughs> they view that person as competition. <laughs> So they might not be happy and that might make them sad because some of you guys are in a relationship and, you know, you're pouring your cup into somebody else while pouring your cup into others and, you know, well, into this person. And, you know, women view you as somebody who deserves a happy relationship, but also they envy this <clears throat> in some way shape or form if uh they're attracted to you they're like i would love this person okay women view you as somebody who you know you're the life of the party you're very energized but also you kind of just stay to yourself if people engage with you that's when you'll talk you know and it depends on who's talking to you because again it's that vibe like where it's like I'm not really vibing with everybody and I'm not a people pleaser. So if you're not a vibe, I'm not going to talk to you. And that kind of shocks people. And, you know, it may make people combative or maybe they... Because women do place you on a pedestal, but also they don't want you to place yourself on the pedestal because then they're like, oh, this person has an ego or this person's cocky and da da da, da. So you could have that kind of vibe as well. But um, anyway, women view you as somebody who's patient with your relationships for like if they're not if they're a friend and stuff like that, they view you as somebody who is not a high maintenance friendship. Like, you know, it's like that kind of vibe like we can go without talking for months and we reconnect. Everything is all good. We it's the same. We could talk for hours. It's all love. Da -da -da -da. They view you as somebody who is that kind of friendship. And also uh, women view you as somebody who is very patient with them if you're dating this like say this is like your partner and they view you as somebody who's very patient with them and their shenanigans and you're a firm and stable person for this person uh either way they view you as somebody who would be stable and patient and somebody who is worth investing in in regards to a relationship a lot of women view you as somebody who would be their emperor would be their counterpart would be somebody who matches their energy somebody who they would like to build a relationship with somebody who they would love to propose to or would love for you to propose to them 
women view you as somebody who has crazy plans some of you guys may have told people about your dreams goals and aspirations some of you guys are already manifesting that and just you shock people every day with what you manifest or what you head towards or what you accomplish like you're always shocking women in some way shape or form and they love to watch your social media again with this this page of swords it's like it really makes them sad like if you're out here traveling and exploring and going to new places because the three of wands also represents travel as well if you're over here just doing the damn thing or you're always at parties and stuff like that even though you could be more of a homebody but I do feel like because we we did have the independence but I, did, I think that it's like you jump from group to group independently like you're a people person but you don't need somebody by your side to be out there or to go to you'll go to a party by yourself and then all of a sudden you're talking to everybody and making new friends and stuff like that if you want to because again it's about the vibes like i said but yeah people um women view you as somebody who may be a business owner or an entrepreneur somebody who you you inspire them people women look up to you in regards to your manifestation skills in regards to you manifesting abundance in regards to you living a happy life in regards to you celebrating life in regards to your relationships your friendships and your connections a lot of women like envy your social media a lot of women envy the fact that you're able to travel and then we have the five of wands and the king of wands at the end of the spread so women view you as somebody who has a sexy body regardless of your gender women view you as somebody who people are fighting for people who like either your competition to women okay because maybe they they have somebody they have their eye on an emperor and the emperor is watching you okay because we have you know them that like y'all like a lot of eyes on you pa one a lot of eyes on you page of swords a lot of eyes on you but um yeah because you look good okay you you could have a lot of muscles you could have a lot of tattoos and women love your tattoos and maybe women come up to you and ask you to see your tattoos and stuff like that but they view you as somebody who has really nice tattoos but somebody who they feel like they need to become better for because either they're trying to get you or they want to be like you or become better than you because you know you're out here doing the damn thing and they're kind of inspired women view you as a siren too because you know obviously the mermaid energies but like she has feet in these but like i noticed the tail right here and the tail right here so women view as somebody who has does amazing eye makeup you could do makeup like really nice but you don't need makeup because again there's big emphasis on you being naturally beautiful by her seductive so male or female pal three you're very seductive you're very sexy and you know you ooze this sex appeal that really does attract people you ooze this authority this authority that really like it shocks people like you know because again we were getting that cute energy with the cow and then all of a sudden you pop out like ba -bow! you know what i'm saying and they're like who is this sex god <laughs> that is so funny anything else Women view you as somebody who could be manipulative with their words as well. So you could, like, you know, have smooth game and you could probably, like, get them to do what they want. Like, come on, you know, just for me. <laughs> yeah, you're a boss. All right. Yeah, that's what I got for you, pal number three. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. See you on the next one. Bye.